We are here to talk about a very particular approach on Danto Jutsu. Danto Jutsu in our school, just as many other subjects and studies, they, they were greatly influenced by the samurai-ish way of using the Danto. And uh, the Danto, in the later stages, um, became a very uh, well set and defined weapon, as we all know as part of the Daisho. However, in very earlier stages of our tradition, Danto was used by the Shizen people in uh, some very unique ways. There are the Seite Gata and there are the didactical uh, steps that uh, a student will follow gradually, so he will learn uh, how such weapon or how this body art, this Taijutsu, uh, is seen and is understood from the point of view of that particular school or lineage. And then later on, there are the free forms. So, in these free forms, there are no rules and there are no established uh, patterns. So, this is mostly what uh, what sets, you know, what differentiates one master to the other or one school to the other, because they will all know properly the do say take kata and the correct form, you know, the the hard form, the straight form. However, um, when we are in free forms, many things change, as you know. So, um, each teacher, each master will have its own way to see and to interpret the Seite Gata and uh, how the Seite Gata can be used in many Kuzurei, in many variations towards the free forms. There is actually a, a very interesting stage of transition between the Seite Gata and the free forms themselves. So I'd like to note and to suggest that you take a look um, on how the postures lead uh, in a chain of movements to um, a deceive, we could say, how we can um, set a game and in this game we can set attacks usually in odd numbers. You can say in one, three, five, seven. Although in, the, in Tanto Jutsu we have usually short situations and it's always very violent. It's extremely difficult or it would be somewhat naive to, to think that uh, in a real Tanto situation uh, somebody wouldn't get hurt. So watch out for the gaps um, and uh, for the timings and for the maliciousness in the chain of movements. Now, even before um, they got closed in, even before when we got closed in to a, a close quarter situation, and after that, what happens? What is the sequence of um, of movements, or what is the the idea behind each sequence of movements?